Welcome to the Sex, Travel, Sports, Food Podcast with your host, Cousin Cornbread. So, so yeah, we're going to get it in. You know what I'm talking about. We done, we done took a, um, unscheduled, a, hiatus. a unscheduled hiatus. <laughs> unplanned. I think it's been like six months or something it's, like that. It's been a while. Like dead it's ass for real. It's been a while. <laughs> and so... Um, you know, but you know, you've been her. You know, because you a Leo, or be, I ain't gonna say. You know, I'm not even gonna blame it on your Leo. I guess because of just how you are, you ain't built how for I'm this. wired. Yeah, how you're wired. You're not built for this. Um, this quarantine life. You know no, man? not at all. It ain't been uh, no I, change for me. No, well, people like you who are introverts don't have no issues or problems with nah. staying in the house. Nope. I, I I actually posted a meme just the other day to tell all of my introverted friends to check on their extroverted friends, which is me, right. that we not okay. Like, this is not where it's at for me. Staying in the house, bunkers yeah. down. Yeah, that's that's not working. I'm active. I need to be out here in these, these streets. Like, it's, this is not working. <laughs> yeah, so so for anybody that's watching this right now, man, I just went ahead and, um, you know, we, we apologize for well, I'll say I apologize for um, the major delay with the um, with the sex travel sports food podcast. And this right here is a random impromptu jump back on the joint to give, you know, to put something out there for all our faithful listeners, all the people that was fucking with me from the beginning. And then with Rue coming on, all that good stuff, I apologize for the major delay. We'll, I'll get into at some other point why this delay really happened. You know what I'm saying? This basically you got some it was a lot of shit going on. You know it was. It was and a lot. Of, you know, you know, I suffer from uh seasonal <clears throat> affective disorder. So that's like real life. So I'm asking somebody come yes. on and talk about that for real. Yes. And um that is very true. Yeah man, but but what we doing now is uh, Rue, because of this quarantine, you know, right now we in the in the midst of this new coronavirus quarantine and all these directives to stay in the house and all this stuff and like we just were talking about I'm built for this I'm an only child um I ain't never really had to do no kind of interaction with a whole bunch of motherfuckers in the first place but all of these people <laughs> <laughs> all of these all these people like Rue and a lot of y'all out there in these streets y'all don't know what the hell to do with yourselves and when I tell y'all Rue ain't never called and texted me as much as she has in the past, <laughs> like the past week. <laughs> She's like, what are we gonna do? When are we gonna get back on the air? When are we gonna record another podcast? Oh my God, call me right. Like, if I show y'all, I got a text. She said, call me right now. It was like 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> I thought I had to go get the strap and go meet her somewhere because she in trouble or something. She just had need to talk to somebody. <laughs> So yeah, man. Yo. So we so we back on this joint, man. We go we gonna do a quick joint for y'all because Rue cannot. She can't sit still. She got a it's lot, a lot. Of and opinions it's going a on. It's a lot. It's runner. a lot going on right now. Yeah, and um, you know, so we gonna just talk about it and, and just FYI, you know, uh, y'all can make sure y'all still go check out all the past episodes that we had. You can still check that out on mydopepodcast.com. dot com. Yes. Right? Yeah, we, we typically discuss sex, travel, sports, and food as the four main things that your favorite cousin thinks are the most important things in life. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna get in, man. We'll just talk about this Rona real quick. So, you know, Rue called me up to call me. No, she called me, text me, then she said, Fuck all that. I'm a <laughs> video, video chat. I'm a video <laughs> chat your ass through Facebook. <laughs> Cause she <laughs> You gonna talk to me. We gonna some, figure this out. In some way, I'm a, she gonna get me however she gonna get me however she need to get me. So she hit me on Facebook, uh, uh, video chat. I ain't even never done a Facebook video chat. I usually re reject motherfuckers, but since it's rude, I was like, let me see what this damn girl wants. So it's so, so hot. And then we just had a whole conversation. We started a conversation. I was like, let wait, wait, wait. Let's just record this joint because. This is what we going to We just going to put this out to us some content. You know what I'm talking about? So, yeah. so Rue, you know, Rue 
was about to go on the whole thing about how she about to break out the house. She said the governor can't tell her nothing <laughs> about being locked down. I and did I not say that. I responded. I said, Shawty, you got to follow the directive. This is why everybody dying out here in the streets. And then what you said, Ruth. So go ahead. You, you, I, you said what you I, had I to say. Said, I said, first of all, nobody's going to hold me captive in my house. Um, I don't know if that's the rebellious side of me, the Leo side that Cornbread likes to talk about all the time. But I just feel like, yes, right now is a very um, unknown uh, time. Nobody knows from day to day what's happening, what's going to happen. But I was telling Cornbread, I said, whatever is meant for us is going to happen regardless of whether we dealing with this COVID-19 or whether we not. And so I wanted to, you know, bring in the spiritual aspect of things. And then me and him, we started kind of, you know, going back. And that's when we decided to jump on and holler at y'all. But <laughs> like I told Cornbread, like, at the end of the day, what is meant for us, for everybody, is, is going to happen. Like, does that mean that <clears throat> we shouldn't take this situation seriously or that, you know, we shouldn't take heed and take the necessary, um, you know, uh, precautionary measures? No, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying disregard that at all. However, what I am saying is, is that I'm going to continue to live my life. You know what I'm saying? God got me. He always got me, okay? Oh. And what did you say when I said God got me? What did you say? Nah, man, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> hey, I think I just think that, that people, when they when they start throwing the God joint in there, it just be real funny. I mean, a lot maybe a lot of people, y'all don't know. Maybe you do, I don't know. It don't matter. But, you know, I'm not the biggest religious person in the world. And, um... Mm -hmm. And you know, but you were you said you were preacher, you were preacher. I'm a right? preacher's kid, so I look at things differently. Like I grew up in the church, and you know, all all my grandmother and I, and as well as some of my more spiritual and religious friends, that's all we've been talking about. Like about this is a God very very yeah, God got us. It's a very difficult time, but you know, continue to stay prayed up, continue to stay in that scripture, have a positive mindset. Uh -huh. And most of all, continue to be faithful and stay encouraged and, you know, everything going to work out. It is what it is. Like, so, so you saying your faith is a replacement for the mask and, <laughs> and, the, I, and, I all the, and all the, so what does, the, so, so what does, what does that mean? You going to stay prayed up and all this stuff, you know what I'm talking about? Like I'm, I'm a person, I'm a very, if I were to classify myself, which I really don't like mm -hmm. to do in no aspect of my life, everybody know that I'm a free spirit corn. I do whatever I want. But, mm -hmm. you know, I'm probably more of an agnostic person where I'm not trying okay. to really figure it out. Like, I don't really right. assign. I mean, I don't know. You could be a God, might not be a God. I don't know if it's a personified God. Like, we talk about, you know, putting all these human aspects on the God and, 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 and trying to interact with God. Like, like it's somebody, like it's your next door neighbor, like it's the homie, or you praying, do he answer? What, what his voice sound like? All this kind of stuff is, is all. Yeah, all of that stuff, all it, all of but, that stuff is determined to the person. But you know, that's a whole nother episode. Yeah, but we ain't gonna get into that. But because no. of, because of this probably going, this is rant. We're Saturday right now, but this might get posted Sunday. But whatever time you listen to this, you know what I'm saying? All y'all people prayed up. You know, I hope that that hope that works out for you. You know what I'm talking about? Because I just think it's funny when people say that because. It's, it's one of these things where it's like I look at it the other way because I'm a contrarian a lot of times and a lot of issues mm -hmm. because I'm too I'm overly logical I wish I was more emotionally based like a lot of people but what happens is you know when we talking about this whole uh, pandemic and the real question is if God got you why he give it to you in the first damn place because the world right now, this is what the world needs. Like honestly, right. on a whole on a whole nother level, people are so busy in their day to day life doing whatever, you know, ripping and running with the kids, working. Mm -hmm. you, they don't ever really actually have time to take time to sit down and hone in on this moment. So not only am I looking at it from a spiritual aspect, <clears throat> I'm looking at it from an aspect of all of those things that I haven't had the time to do. God has sat me down and was like, all right, you know, sis, that resume that you wanted to write, go on and write that. Those jobs that you wanted to apply for, go right. on and do that. Those skill sets that you've put on the back burner, go right. ahead and hone in on all of those things at this time because we have nothing but time. 
utilize your time right now. Like, don't look at the negative of everything that's going on. You know, some people upset that they are home with their kids all day. It, it doesn't matter to me. I mean, right. I'm with my child 90% of the time. Yes. Has he gotten on my nerves? Yes. Has he not been using his school stomach? Absolutely. But I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm just saying, stomach, <laughs> yes, but I'm just saying like, there's a lot of time that him and I have been able to kind of quality time that him and I have been able to spend together, you know, playing card games and, you know, honing in on reading and writing and, you know, things that on typical day-to-day time, I just kind of maybe brush off or I don't have the time to give him all of my undivided attention. So I just think that this is an amazing time to utilize the time that we have because, I mean, we, we so, be in so, here for a whole so, other month. So along those same lines, though, so you that's your positive spin on it based on the Lord. And we're not talking about, but so but, what, but how you, so, so do the Lord really have to go through all that to get you or whoever, everybody to sit down and pay attention and be in the moment and all this. Because there's people that's dying from it too, though. So I can't, yeah, gotta but, be, it got to be a better way than killing off motherfuckers in order for, this, for you to sit down with Gavin. It's <laughs> not. <laughs> you, I, the, you the, have Lord, a, the Lord got to come up with a better way for everybody to focus than to have to kill off motherfuckers. Or to I agree these, with Or that. give these people new, new pneumonia. And like the old black people call it the death of pneumonia. That's what my mother right. called the death of pneumonia. I don't even know. <laughs> I, I guess that's a that's the country proper medical terminology for it. But I mean, like, why would you? It, it don't make no no kind of sense to me. Like, for, from this, because when you mentioned that, I was, you know, I don't know, it, it, it sparks under me because I don't like. I don't like. Let me let me change that. I'm trying to change my words recently, but you know, it, it's always interesting to me when people go down down that line of thinking. When they go, mm-hmm. all right, well, yeah, this is something God's putting in. I seen a lot of people post up, well, God is doing this to show us he's in charge. It's like, well, shit, who the, who the fuck challenging God? <laughs> is, is somebody really challenging God? Like, and then if you get into the whole thing about him, about God being an omnipotent being, right? Mm-hmm. And that's, that's responsible for everything. Then how could anything challenge God? And that even goes further deep into why I don't really mess with it. But, uh, you know, with stuff like the devil and evil energy versus God and all, it don't none of it make any kind of sense to me. It don't, right. to me, it's like one of them things where is it easily preventable? <laughs> like, if I, God I don't is, know about that. if God is God, right? Okay. All, all knowing, all doing, all everything, mm-hmm. God creates all of this stuff. So he creates the good and the bad. A lot of people attribute the good only, right? But like you no, right now. But that's not true though. But you're, you're like, right. There there are people who only attribute the good, but there is good and and bad in the Bible that God has been affiliated with to to show his purpose. Like there's always a purpose at the end. Right, but listen, why would you so you God. But you can't we can't but the thing is for me, we can't relate to God. Right? Like you just can't. You we People try to personify God and say, like, all right, if, if I had all the power, how would I act? But you can't really relate to that because you ain't never, you'll never have all the power, right? You always mm-hmm. are, have influences from something else. But if we look at something like God, which is supposed to be all everything, why, mm-hmm. in, why in God's name <laughs> would <laughs> God have to show, Us show this out? Way show out against Just somebody like, like why am i why if i'm god and i done did everything i don't need to show off for nobody i'm showing off for me like i'm the only shit i'm like, like if all this is me if i wanted to shut this shit down i shut it all down i don't need to like prove like who am i proving myself to <laughs> that's like it's just goof it's like if i sat here and like I don't know. It's just like even with with people with kids right like i don't get that either mm-hmm. like if i was i'm not a parent but or you, I had, I had fur babies, my little cat. Shout out R.I.P. <laughs> to the pimp, R.I.P. to the pimp. But you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't need to show out to show pimp I'm in charge. You don't need to show out with Gavin to show him you in charge. Gavin know you in charge. Cause you, sometimes, sometimes I gotta show out to let Gavin know who the parent is and who the child is. Right, so. but you ain't gonna you ain't gonna kill all Gavin's friends and be like, damn, but <laughs> <laughs> be like, all right, now, now you know who in charge, little motherfucker. <laughs> now maybe I have to kill all your friends again, <laughs> cause that just don't make no kind of sense. I can't. 
can't. You ain't gonna go I down can't. to the school right. with a fucking. You ain't gonna. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't gotta go through all that. So like, I, when people talk right. about that, it just you know, it, it's just a weird, the weird way to look at. it. I mean, I get it. You know, people's faith is really wrapped up into things, and you have to. Is a it's the best way to do it is to survive with it, and I'm so, the way best way to survive through all this stuff is to put a positive spin on it with y'all and you have to attribute those things to God and look at it that way is, you know, I, I get it. You know, it's just not my personal take on it, but I thought that was interesting that you said that. I was like, oh man, here we go. Cause I done seen a whole bunch here of Here we memes. go. Yeah, here we go. I done seen a whole bunch of memes. They had a COVID-19. It was like, <laughs> it had a breakdown of COVID-19, but it was all like Bible verses or something. It was verses. Like, Oh, I haven't run across that one yet. If you happen to run across I'll, that again, I'll, make sure you I'll send that my way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, thank you. It to, it's, a, it's in my secular group. Shout out to my uh, black secular DMV folks out there. Because you, know <laughs> you know, black people, you know, you can't be out here saying that you don't, you ain't a church person. They think they try to put holy water on you or something. You know That's saying? right. Sprinkle that holy water on you. Yeah, in the name man. of Jesus. No, hallelujah. <laughs> Can I get an amen? Amen. <laughs> And all y'all listening to this, make sure you share this with your friends if you love the Lord. You know what I'm talking about? Hallelujah. Yeah. Pastor, yeah. Pastor Reverend Preacher Corn on here. <laughs> with, uh, <laughs> with the deaconess, with, with, deaconess no, dunning. Oh, no, nah, you passed the root. You, you, oh, I passed the root. Yeah, you passed oh, okay. the root. I'm gonna oh, ordain, okay. I ordained you. Pastor. Oh, I appreciate that. Thank you. In the name you of know, Jesus. Side note, for real, like this is a real side note. But, you know, we talk about all this stuff, man. Um, in real life, I done added another uh, service to my service offerings. If y'all don't know, I host shows. I host, like, I host this show. I host, uh, you know, like live shows, hair shows, comedy shows, doing all this stuff, birthday parties, bar mitzvahs, whatever y'all need. You know what I'm talking about? But one thing mm. I done added during this time, oh, since y'all done last heard us, is now I'm a wedding officiant. Like, dad, uh, as I'm. Oh, ready. yeah. Yeah, registered. Oh, got, got my script. Congratulations! Yeah, so yeah, of course. yeah, so if y'all need somebody to come through and marry y'all wherever, <laughs> and you want to have it be a, a you want to, I can do traditional. I can do it. I can do it secular. I can do it uh, religious. I can, I got. I can do however you want it. But if you want to add some flavor to your jump with your favorite cousin, you can get me to come through, officiate the wedding. I send everything out. Get you filed, all that good stuff. Holler at your man. I'm gonna put that up too. Y'all, can, what's y'all up. can schedule me. That's you know what I'm talking about? Because that's you know, what's up. Gotta support the love out here in these streets. You know what I'm talking about? I love it. I love it. <laughs> I love it. But yeah, man. It. So what else going on, bro? I mean, you've been, you be, you, you know, you've been sending me all this stuff, man. You know, I can't keep up because if y'all don't know, man. Well, actually, y'all, y'all ain't no way you would know this, but Rue communicates to me through about seven different platforms. You know what I'm talking about? And I can't I can't keep up. I just turned 40. <laughs> and now I'm technically, I'm kind of, I'm old now. And I can't keep up with all these young whippersnappers out here on Snapchat, IG, Facebook. TikTok. Uh, TikTok, TikTok, WhatsApp. Yeah. Everything, yep. everything. All of that. Zoom, Skype. Zoom, Skype, Facebook time. I don't know. <laughs> Facebook. House party. I'm on house party now. Uh, me, me and Yo. my homies from Toronto was on a house party uh, a couple of times now. You know, you, you can get up to eight people in that joint. Yeah, but now they got I stuff heard. like this, like Zoom, uh, where you can get uh, you know more than you can have a whole bunch of motherfuckers. Yeah, I think a lot of uh, companies are using Zoom right now. Like it's it's been real. Zoom has definitely upped the ante on, uh, or the companies have definitely upped the ante on Zoom. So that all the employees and stuff can get on and have their conference calls. I was like on a two-hour conference call the other day, and I was like, "Really? Yeah. Like, that's what are we doing?" Yep. And Webex. So, uh, my company use Webex. My my nine-to-five company. They use Webex. That was cool. But, I like Webex. Huh? But yeah, like you know, I think all this stuff is accomplishing the same goals. But you know, they said uh, Zoom. They saying that Zoom now has a uh, it, it is dropping malware off on everybody's computer. So every time you download mm-hmm. it or use it or whatever, they put, they said somebody, I don't know who it is. I don't know if Trump blaming the Chinese or whatever. I don't know. But they saying they, they put your president. Out. That's your, that's your man's. That's, that's your president. Your man said, <laughs> <laughs> your, 
your man be coming out there like he coming out the um like he coming down the soul train line. He always dancing he out there. Just talk, say you know, whatever. Anything. Just what the fuck ever. He has the he most does. un unbased um what you call it? He has the most unfounded opinions about everything. Like he just wing it. He he wings it. Just like we winging it. Remember remember I just told you. <laughs> when you called me, we about to get into a whole conversation. I was like, wait, wait, wait. We, we just going to record this joint because what Rue will do is she'll, we just be winging it. You know what I'm saying? I'd be like, Rue, give it's me good. a... I'd be like, Rue, write down what you want. And she'd be like, no, no. I'm right down, right here, right now. And we just going to do it. Hey, I got it. I got it. I mean, it was I just know, lots of it. stuff to talk about. And I definitely yeah, it wanted a... Lot, a it's a lot going on, man. It has been a I lot going on. It has been, and I definitely wanted us to reach out to the viewers, you know, your viewers, our viewers, my viewers, like Man. like one person said earlier, we definitely uh, appreciate y'all. I, I miss y'all. I mean, like, I really miss y'all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I miss, miss y'all too, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm sorry. You know, the thing is, man, it's a lot of, you the video part of it, The video, I mean, this is actually making stuff 10 times easier, but easier, we can't talk, easier. But once I added the video aspect to it, man, that just mm -hmm. takes so much work, man. I'm about to get a whole camera crew or something, but this makes it a little bit easier. It um, does. But even it with does. the, um, yeah, right. And one thing I done noticed is, you know, you know, I put, you know, with the old videos and stuff, I put, you know, you got to edit them. Even like basic edits take forever. If anybody knows mm -hmm. about editing videos or posting on stuff on YouTube and all that, it even basic as stuff just takes forever. You know what I'm saying? And I was just like, man. But yeah, man. We gonna I'm I'm glad I'm so, glad we had this. Uh, what, what else are we gonna talk about, Ru? So listen, listen, I knew it was coming. I just wasn't sure who was gonna do it. And I thought I thought it was gonna be our our people. I ain't even gonna sit up here and lie. I thought it was gonna be our people. So there are twins named Corona and COVID. Okay. Yeah, Why? 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 And actually, they're from India. They're Indian, uh, Indian twins. And oh, I, yeah. I did a little research. Mm -hmm. I did a little research. Read a little bit over the article. Uh, the family of the the couple was not the elders in the family was not with it with COVID oh, and Corona. They was like, "Are you sure this is what y'all really want to do?" And the couple was like, they just wanted to be reminded of these tumultuous times. So they decided to name their kids Corona and COVID. Wow. And I'm like, you just wow. having a child during this time wasn't memorable enough for you that you you just wanted to just take that extra step and just name the corona and covid that's you real said, cute and they twins they, are they boy is it a boy or a girl it's a boy and a girl so the oh, covid boy and a girl mm -hmm. so covid is the little boy and corona is the little girl which they tried to little put a little spin to it which i found to be a little creative they said that corona in latin means crown i said okay you know i'll corona. give them that corona but in latin Corona in Latin, because I took Latin. Don't do that. Latin is well, a derivative of all words. Hey, listen. So, I, I ain't yeah. Never, I ain't never challenged the queen. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> but, yeah, like, so Corona means crown. So I gave him a little credit, you know, there. But um, I feel like, you know, our people, they're going to take it to the next level. It's going to be like Corona Lachey. You know, the virus or something like that. You know, they, somebody, <laughs> somebody going to take it. Not the so, virus. <laughs> Somebody go take it there. Corona Somebody the virus. The virus. That, yo, man, I, I hope that don't happen. I, <laughs> hey, the virus, that's funny as shit. But oh, man. I, you know, I actually don't mind the, the corona and the, and the COVID. COVID. Mm. I mean, they had to take advantage of this opportunity. You know what I'm saying? They had to. They but maybe that, I mean, I don't know. Maybe that'll be the nickname. Maybe that won't be the official names. I don't know. Okay. Well, I hope so. But yeah, you I know they, so. you know they Indian, and you, you know when you want to hear some crazy shit. Like speaking of, you talking about our people, right? Mm -hmm. Have you taken the mm -hmm. census? Yes, I did. I did do mine. So, so when I took the census, did you did you notice when you had to pick your race? Did you notice? What yes, they, I did notice that. that they I had did a notice white. That. And who did yeah. they, they claim? So if you if so y'all took y'all senses yet, or if you haven't, go look or when you go on check this out, or if you have, maybe you pay attention to this. Did you, Rue, did you pay attention to what they counted as white? Cause you know they got white, black, whatever. 
So they have a description of what's white and a description of what's black. I, did, I don't think I actually looked at the description because I did notice that they had African American and they had black. So let me tell you what they did. So, okay. or what I noticed anyway. So what, what I noticed is that they took, they, they had white and then they put in a parentheses, like examples of white. So they had, oh. <laughs> they put oh. English, German, Swedish, uh, whatever, like all the, uh, French, right? And then okay. they said uh, Egyptian, and I think it was not uh, not Palestinian. It was Egyptian and Israeli or something like that. Like they they specifically called out these other non European races or ethnicities, ethnicities. or whatever, and try and said that if you claim these specifically. This needs to be under white, right? And I was oh. like, "Wait, hold on, Egypt. I, I've been to Egypt. <laughs> they not, they not white. I've been to Egypt, and they're dark. They dark. They're darker than me, right? They like I'm lighter than all of the Egyptians I saw, right? Wow. Mm -hmm. Um, and 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 that was in Cairo. And then as you get further down the river, or mm -hmm. further south on the river. Mm -hmm. They get blacker, right? So as you oh, wow. get further down towards Sudan and all this, they get blacker and blacker and blacker, right? Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. the crazy, I was just, it was just shocking to me that, let me, I gotta pull this joint up, but it's shocking to me that they literally pulled, they literally called out in the, um, here you go. So in white, so it goes, I'm gonna post this too. So white, and, so for example, German, Irish, English, Italian, Lebanese. Mm -hmm. Egyptian, etc., and then for black, they got <clears throat> African American, which I don't know. Mm -hmm. They got black African, African American, I Jamaican, Haitian, Nigerian, Ethiopian, Somali, etc. <laughs> wow, wow! So all like, of that's black. All, that's all of black. that's black. But they gonna claim okay. Egypt, which is on the same continent <laughs> with uh with Ethiopia and Somalia. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's just weird that they try try to like it's it's just like with borders and all this shit, right? Like people try to separate themselves across these phony ass lines or claim this and claim that. But who told them that the Egyptians is white? But it's crazy because I think that even when we talked to the Egyptians when I was there, like mm -hmm. they would say, Yeah, we we whoever we need to be to get what we want. Right. So if it's a group True. of y'all black motherfuckers coming through on a tour, we black. Mm -hmm. Cause we right. want your money. If it's, right. a, if it's some white motherfuckers over here, we ate, we Arab because they're going to accept <laughs> Arabs more so than they're going to accept blacks. Because don't nobody like black people, right? Supposedly. Oh, you know, like, I don't know why because y'all, everybody loves black culture, but they don't like the black people. It's weird, right? Right. They, they like black music. They like black clothes. They like black sport players. They go cheer for everything that's black. But y'all don't like black people. That's weird. Man, we're going to get into all that right now. But I just that's thought crazy. that was crazy because you brought up something. I don't know why I went on that tangent. You not be going. Like no, that. you were. We were talking about the the twins being uh, Indian. Oh yeah, Indian the Indians, Indians, right? That's why. And so, like, yeah. even with that, like a lot of Indians, you know, a lot of people that with their marriages and arranged marriages and stuff like that, like they'll be damned, they'll die before they marry a black motherfucker. But if they brought a white person home, it'd be mm -hmm. all good. It's, it's crazy. Right. I never right. forget. Like years ago, I was trying to holler at this Indian chick. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. She was, she was bad. Bad. Right. She was bad. She was cute. She was bad. cute. Cute. <laughs> she was real cute. She was like real pretty. Fat butt. All of, like everything. Fat butt, big titty, whole thing. <laughs> pretty ass uh, eyes. Like crazy. Everything. She had a complete package. What? Yo, she was okay. like lit. Like everybody, everybody in the office was trying to holler. Everybody. When I tell you everybody, everybody. Right? <laughs> like motherfuckers I didn't even know they found out I worked there. They were like, oh, you know so-and-so? I was like, how the fuck you know her? Like, yo, I work all the way. <laughs> I work for a corporate. I work in this corporate office. This motherfucker that work for uh for uh DC Public Works. I'm like, oh, you know so? I'm like, <laughs> I'm like how the fuck you know? Crazy. They knew, they knew she worked there. Anyway, she was bad, right? So, like, I tried to holler at her, whatever. Then one day, she was just like, man, uh, you know, I really can't. 
you know, it ain't gonna really be nothing serious. Even if we date or something like that, I really can't even really date you openly, basically. Yikes. And even if we did, I would never be able to marry you or nothing like that because my family ain't gonna have it. And mm. I'm like, oh, that shit, wow. <laughs> like, wow. Like, <laughs> like under, you know, like basically it wasn't even a, a question. You know well, at least she told you that, though, you know, so you could kind of, you know, go, move on with your life. Yeah, I mean, it was cool. Like, I ain't really, it wasn't a big deal to me, but I just thought it was, it's, it's crazy when you see stuff like that or run into stuff like that, because a lot of cultures are like that. They like, nah, we keeping our shit. We only fucking with each other. Mm. Right. And the mm -hmm. only people, in my opinion, that really get backlash when they do it is black people. Like, right. Let a black, let a black motherfuckers be saying that type of stuff. Oh, you're, you are reverse racist and you shouldn't do that. And wah, wah, wah. But all other, and we supposed to just accept everybody. Everybody, everybody, like, everybody be invited to this proverbial cookout, right? Oh, hey, hey, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, you like hip hop? Come to the cookout. Oh, oh, you played a black guy in the, you know, in the movie? Come to the cookout. <laughs> right, right. Right. So they always, everybody, right. everybody want to be, oh, you, oh, you can break dance? Come to the cookout. You got a whole collection of fucking Adidas? Come to the cookout, right? Like all this black random shit that people be wanting to be accepting of other people into black culture or into the black, whatever the fuck you want to call it. It's crazy mm -hmm. to see that shit there. You know, motherfucker. You know, especially, like, it's weird for me, especially with like Indians and shit like that. Like, I know a bunch of Indians, right? Like some of them are like, and they have, I mean, people will tell you, right? Like, cause it's not a thing. Like, there's not, it's nothing they ashamed to sell you. They'd be like, yep, hell no, nah, like, I can't fuck with you. Like, you cool. Mm -hmm. Like, we can, we can hang out, bro. <laughs> but that's but it. <laughs> that's gonna be the end of the line right there. Facts. But anyway, let me, Facts. let me not go down that rabbit hole right now, but that's okay. Yeah. Thing, that's, that's definitely your, your Stila right there. We know you can talk well, about that forever. Yeah. But you know, I, <laughs> One thing too, since since we've been off the air and all this stuff, you know, I, I gave up on being pro blackity black. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, well, yeah, you did tell me that. I remember us yeah. having a conversation, and you told me that you were not uh, pro black anymore. And I said, Oh, oh really? Oh, well, oh my! I'm pro black. I'm just not pro blackity black. Blackity, yeah, oh, okay, blackity black. Okay, oh, okay. Because motherfuckers, okay. Out here. it ain't ain't nothing gonna change, man. Like the thing is, you know. I like to support black businesses. I like to support this black stuff. And I like to empower, I want blacks to feel empowered and not feel like they don't have nothing. Uh, yeah. I like feel like they need to be reaching out to other cultures and other races for approval. Mm -hmm. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But they don't want to do it. Like a lot of motherfuckers, just, they, it, it, the, the white superiority complex, which goes with mm -hmm. the black inferiority complex is so crazy. It's like it's, it's it. like a stronghold, a stranglehold on life, shawty. And it's yeah. just too much for me. Even though I got, matter of fact, I got on a blackity black shirt right now. One of my sweatshirts. I don't know. Let me see. Let me see. What you got? Okay. Black number okay. prime right here. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like that. I, I made that. Like, let me see. You see? It's, it's okay. The, the Transformers with the uh. What do you call it? The Black Panther joint. I mean, I, I like it. That's dope. Whatever. Black Panther. That's dope. Chain. I but need. Yeah. I need one. I got a regular <laughs> shirt on. That's fine. Uh, I said I got a regular shirt on. That's fine. Uh, that's fine. I didn't even realize <laughs> I was talking. This is the second video I done made where I didn't realize I had on my on my stuff. I do wear a lot of my own apparel. Actually, I'd be like, man, I guess that's the reason I made it because it's my, you know, shit. I want thing. You know, statement tees out here, but. But yeah, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not gonna be as is. Uh, I haven't been as uh, rowdy <laughs> with my. Oh, black I display. stay. Well, I and just we know, stay rowdy. We know oh, you, rowdy yeah. Rue. Rowdy Rue, right Roo. here. Rowdy yep. Rue ain't never going nowhere. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. That was funny. Just like you was rowdy when you called me. <laughs> I was not rowdy. I was just. See, I think that people sometimes mistake my rowdiness for my, my passion. I'm just very passionate about things. And like, I just, yeah. you know, I feel like it's important to, you know, talk to people about things. Like, for instance, you even asked me this when me and you were on the call. You was like, what are you doing? Like, is that like the, is that like the universal question right now? Like, nigga, I'm doing the same shit your ass though. We sitting right. in the motherfucking right. house. Like, what right. you mean? What am I doing? Right, right. And I think that's how, and that's how we got into the whole conversation about. Yeah. <laughs> 
about yeah. going out because I was like, well, a lot of people ain't ain't respecting the um respecting the travel, you know, the restrictions now, and the curfews and all that. Shit. I'm, so I think well, I'm gonna we tell you, I'm gonna tell you, there's some some essential people work coming to non-essential people. Just put it that way, okay? You know, they got their little pink slips. They out here on the highway, skirt skirting, making these booty calls and stuff. Cause uh. everybody's a little thirsty <laughs> right now, okay? The thirst is real. You know, make, folks hitting you, hitting you up from five years ago. You like, nigga, uh, where, where you come from? Oh, yeah, and I, mean, I got some of my homeboys, same thing. They like, yo, shawty, one of my homeboys hit me yesterday and he sent me like a screenshot. And basically he was telling the chick, he was like, who, who are you? And the joint oh. was like, well, we, the joint was like, well, we smashed. Like, you don't know who I am. And he was like, no, like, who is this? And I said, nigga, like, really? That's what we doing? But yeah, uh, like people bored. They 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 go they scrolling through. They going back to them 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 Texas from Christmas, Thanksgiving, hey. seeing if they can kind of rekindle some shit. <laughs> yeah, it, it's it's bad out here. Like hey, when I funny. tell you, once everything is 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 over and done with, and and the dust has settled, I'm trying to tell you, it's it's gonna be on and popping. It's definitely gonna be some co- co- what is it? Uh, what did I say? Corona Lachey the virus babies. <laughs> On deck. Corona okay. Lachey the virus. That's hilarious. Yes. That's like, yes. That's, I hope that name never actually makes it in uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, folks ready to eat now. I mean, folks that don't typically go out, ready to go out. Like, again, I think hey. that, you know, people just have, like, kind of just taken things for granted. Like, shit was always going to be there. Like, I was talking to my cousin the other day, and I was like, yo. I was like, you remember when we used to, you know, talk to grandma and grandma was like, outside ain't never going nowhere. Look, we can't even go outside. Like, the fuck? Right. Yeah. Like, Uh, it's it's sad. It's super sad. But, you know, I'm just trying to make the best of the situations. You know, I like all the little challenges that's going on. They got the little savage challenge. I've been trying, but I'm old too, corn. I don't know how to work TikTok. So anybody out there that got any daughters or kids or whatever that can, you know, hit Rue up with the TikTok because I try to stay current, let me know because right, I'm trying right. to, you know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to be on Megan right. the Stallion train too. There you, you know? Go. Hold on. Uh, Gavin don't know how to use TikTok? No, Gav- that's not really something boys really use a lot. So oh, yeah. Gavin, Gavin know how to play with his Beyblades. That's what Gavin know how to do in his Nintendo Switch. I'm not interested in that. What is it called? Beyblade? Beyblades. It's like these. Uh, don't even get me to line. They like these little tops that like battle with each other. Oh no! And he got like a stadium where they like battle, and everybody got different ones, and they different velocities and stuff like that. I don't know. I don't. Oh, he know. got a, he got a whole coliseum over there, show. <laughs> yeah, he should. <laughs> so that's been keeping him busy. But um, but yeah, stuff is definitely people have definitely gotten creative. You know. Um, just a little, you know, FYI for my ladies. Mm-hmm. This is y'all's time. If y'all really are trying to look for a man at this time, this is the best time to showcase your cooking skills. Like, go to my mother, go to my motherfucking page. Oh, woo, firing it up up in this joint. I mean, we oh, got, yeah. we got, we got crab boil on deck. We got tacos. We got a salmon top with lump crab meat and scrimp. I mean, we we doing it mm. big over here. Oh, you made so, all that. Yeah, I made hey, all of that. Hey, put hey. me a plate outside the door. <laughs> Want me to slide you a plate? I got you, Slim. I got you. Plate, slide you a plate. Yeah, tell yeah. your little, tell your little suitors I ain't. I'm the only there to get the plate. You know what I'm talking about? I just, Not I just my suitors. The, yeah, I just came for the plate. I don't, I don't want no smoke. I don't want no drama. He done, he done risked his life out here to come over there. <laughs> come over there and get that Rona. <laughs> get that. Get that quarantine cooch over here. I don't got time to be Oh, fighting. man. I cannot but with yeah. you. You are hilarious. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. This, is, this is the best time. Like, if y'all really looking. That's a good tip, you know, though. For something, for something solid, you know, something real. This y'all time to log on to them dating websites. Mm-hmm. Y'all ain't got nothing but time. Y'all ain't got nothing but time to have those intimate, in-depth conversations really find out what the person is about because y'all ain't fucking. Y'all ain't, y'all ain't, y'all can't do that unless y'all yeah. doing pull-ups. Y'all gonna pull up and six feet apart. I don't yeah. know how that's gonna work. So mm-hmm. utilize this time to find your potential mate. Mm-hmm. And like I said, showcase some cooking skills. So, so, is, if they, so you gonna put the cooking skills on then what they gonna follow up be like, all right, so when the Rona's over, I'm gonna pull up yeah. for that plate. Put my order in. Absolutely. Yeah, you're okay. gonna have a nice little dinner date and little picnic. You know, folks are gonna wanna be outside. 
Right. So, you know, maybe have a little picnic or something like that. It's, well, I guess yeah. you can still do it, though, because they say, you know, as long as it ain't a group of 10, you good. Well, I, okay, I'm a little so confused. So you can have like that. a whole, yeah, it's it, it, it very. Um, yeah, I'm confused. So is it, a, is it stay at home or is it don't have a group of 10? Like, which one is it? Both. Me? Me? I have still been having one-on-one, you know, interaction with people because I need people around me. Right, right. So. One one at a time, just just one at a time. <laughs> single you know, file, can, single, yeah, single file, single file line, single file line. That's, <laughs> that's right, six feet apart. Everybody needs right. to be six feet apart. Right, right. And you know, if we can do that, then we can interact. Other than that, I, I'm good. I'm good. Man. I'm good. That's but it. yeah, man. But it's uh, wild out here, but yeah, you know I guess. Yes, I mean shit. I mean shit. Like we done talked about. Let me see. If we if we th- stick to my umbrella topic, sex, travel, sports, food, that we don't cover three of them. Goddamn, sex. Well, sex, traveling. You can't travel. Can't travel. Well, I guess, yeah, you I guess can't commute, travel. Commuting out there for the for the uh, quarantine coops. That's kind of travel. Commuting out to Waldorf. Is that what you're saying? Or oh just yeah, because you in, just in general. But yeah, oh, you know, okay. you yeah, know, you Waldorf. in Waldorf. Mm-hmm. That's a that's technically that's a, a high- flight. That's a flight. Yeah. I saw a meme, little boy said, I'm babysitting it. So he did, he broke it up into quads of DC. It was like Northeast, Southeast. So it was like some regular prices, like 300, 400. This nigga said Waldorf, $1,500 because it's an international <laughs> flight. International I said, flight. really? I said, that's what we doing? I said, y'all gonna stop coming for Waldorf. Wait a minute. Oh, you said $300 is regular for what? It was like 300 for like, if your kid was like from Southeast. No, from no, no, Southeast, no, my, East. no, my question is, 300 y'all be paying $300 for how like how much time does that cover? I don't got I don't know, I don't, I how much how much daycare cost. So you tell so $300 uh, is for the week. Is that for the week? No, yeah, 300 um for daycare just in general like when Gavin was uh a, an infant daycare can be anywhere from 3 to $500 a week. No bullshit. <laughs> Yeah, like having a kid is is expensive. Having a kid is like a whole nother like no. rent payment. Yeah. No. Yeah, it, three no. at kinder care. Yeah, because Gavin went to <clears throat> kinder care for a little while. Kinder care was about five hundred a week. Did they get they a get food? They got food. They get they yeah feed they them. give them food. Yeah, they do all of that. But I'm just saying that's still a lot for a week. Yeah, nah, that's what that's like two stacks a month. Yeah, it's, uh, it was ridiculous. When I filed my taxes the first year I had Gavin, I said, who, who had all of this? Who? Because it was a lot. I was like, sheesh. And, you know, we can only get, you know, a certain amount back. But, you know, whatever. No, but, um, man, that's too much. yeah, speaking of these kids, <clears throat> the domestic violence ra- uh, rate has increased along with the divorce rate. Don't know if you heard about that. So, that supposedly. Yes, because of the because because of because of COVID nineteen, sir. Mm. Absolutely. Mm. So I um I have looked at some um some stats, and um, well not some stats. I actually looked at some um articles, and I have some friends that are like officers and stuff like that, mm. and they just they said that they 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 just white white folks being petty right now. Like if kids is you know in a little huddle, they like oh it's too many of them. Like seriously. Hold on, wait. What? Seriously. <laughs> hold on. So yeah, hold on. like they be getting calls about like just people like if it's like five or more for if they think it's more than what it should be, they they make a phone calls in to be like, hey, it's it's such and such and such many kids congregating outside. Like really? But what they trying to like, say that that's that's a problem for the virus? But they they've been yes. doing that forever. They always calling police on somebody. Well, that's what they're that doing a, now. It, and is it a different? type of call now or, or or what yeah i mean well there's a lot of domestic violence calls um i've been told that you know the domestic violence rate has definitely went up and i mean those calls are being answered but they're not being answered like in a timely fashion because it's pretty petty stuff i mean think about it i'm probably about to get you know i'm probably about to i'm just about to throw myself out there but i'm sure your viewers and our viewers is probably not going to agree but it is what it is so Let's be honest. Most men right mm. now got mm. got a main chick, and got a side chick. Most, oh, no. just just saying. I'm just not saying. going to debate you. Go keep going. Keep going with just, your point. Just just mm-hmm. saying. Mm-hmm. And they are like husbands are actually having to stay at home with their wives 
which right. is, you know, maybe three or four hours a day, technically speaking. The rest of the time, they have the opportunity to be with their side chick. Oh, is so, this under normal circumstances or is this during the Rona? This is during the this is during the Rona. This is during the Rona. So they gotta stay with the main they gotta stay they with gotta the wife or the main, main junk for three exactly. to four hours and then they outside. Yes. And it's a problem. The, okay. It's a problem. It's a okay. problem because they're not used to staying in the house with their actual spouse and they mate. So the domestic violence rate has increased. And I if I'm not mistaken, I could have sworn you just posted something on one of your pages talking about uh polygamous are not happy with their main oh, boyfriend. Yeah, yeah. Ain't it the yeah. same? It's the same thing. Yeah. It's the same thing. Folks is that. not happy with their main chicks. Mm -hmm. So, you know, divorce rates increasing. Folks want to get divorces. Not that they can go and get a divorce right now because everything is closed. Yeah, court, so you've got to sit tight. Right, sit tight. Right, right. And then, like I said, the domestic violence, violence rate has increased. And I think that that's among parents and kids and parents, I mean, and uh, husbands uh, and wives. So hold on. So they yeah. count. They count in. I never even thought about counting like kid abuse. As yeah, part of these parents is stuff. these parents is out here wilding out because they at home with their They're kids. Swinging all day. on the kid. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> hey, young, that's messed up, man. Poor little, poor little kid. They ain't asked to come here. Y'all sat down. Y'all wanted to have raw sex. Now you swinging on him because he wants some Yo, snacks out here in these streets. I have a I have a whole different appreciation for these educators. Okay, like I'm homeschooling, working, all of that. Like I ain't got time. Like this is too much. Like Where did you get that church fan much. from? Did you just pull this that ain't out? no church fan. This is a this is a card, sir, oh, that I'm using. I just, Not I no church fan. <laughs> Where you pull that from, though? You <laughs> I had it right here. Oh, okay. I had it right here. That joke came I'm out drinking. Quick. I'm drinking. Oh, you drinking? drinking? Oh, yeah. Yeah. What's that? A lima reader? Yeah, this is a strawberry reader, though. A strawberry. Strawberry is the best. Man. <laughs> my my home my home girl pulled up and you know she she decided to have some drinks on deck for us. So I was like, I, I appreciate you, you Charlie. I got you. Yeah, man. Hey, ain't no, hey, keep it moving. You know, the Lord got you. God got you. That's right. Out. The Lord does have us. Don't do that. Just out talking about that. God got you. Hopefully. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got the, you got the Lama, the Rona Rita <laughs> over there. And y'all going to be good, man. Yeah, we're going to be real good. But yeah. So this was good, man. We're going to get up out of here. Um, I think we coming up on a little bit. I don't even know how long we've been on here for real. Yeah, I don't know how long we've been we on here either. We're about to be at an hour, I think, a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and let these people get up off of here, man. I don't like to hold everybody too long. Well, they ain't got nothing but time, though, they Cornbread. Got no, they, do, they, they definitely ain't got nothing but time. They man. got time. So now, take, you know, take I always try time. to keep it under the hour, though. You know what I'm saying? I, I understand that. But, I mean, they got time to listen. They got time <laughs> to go back and listen to the last eight episodes that we did. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Give us hey. some feedback. You yeah, know, we listen, miss y'all. Go listen you know? to all the episodes. If you ain't, if you ain't been listening to this or you have listened to only a couple of episodes and you ain't caught the first one, the, the all of them, go listen to all of them. Before yeah. Root, before Root started to come on, and after, you know what I'm saying? Yes. Go listen to all of that. Yeah. And subscribe, Cornbread subscribe on YouTube. Okay. Y'all do yeah. that. Go on cousin. That's YouTube. Just slash cousin Cornbread. Just, just search cousin Cornbread. It'll come up. All right. Yeah. Definitely hit us up. Um, I did want to make a little announcement. You uh -oh. know, I like to. I, oh, there's no announcements. I'm not pregnant. I'm not engaged. None of that. Don't do that. Ain't like I, I just like how you always. I like how you always had to make sure you get your, uh, get your, get I did. your, sign, I just got your, your shout outs and sign off announcements on. No matter. Oh no matter man, what well this this ain't even a shout out. Um, as as always, you know, before y'all leave, you know, even though we in twenty twenty and in the year, who is basically. It's been a disaster thus far. I hope that my ladies still out there eating their fruit, drinking their water, and minding their business during this time. Right, right. Um, and um, I know that before <clears throat> when um, I was on the podcast, my my handle on uh, IG has changed. Oh. I alternate between two different handles. Oh, um, right now, things? no, I alternate between two different handles, so I changed the name. So you can change your name on there. So it was heavily melanated, 725. Right. Now I've changed it back to one uniquely crafted Leo. That's me. So one if y'all happen to crafted. see. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, one uniquely crafted Leo. So mm. if y'all happen to want to follow me or 
have been following and wondering where I've been that I, I'm still there. I'm still, I'm still around. <laughs> so follow me. I see. I see. Hey, look, you know, you can, uh, so you should make another zoom account and you can put it down there in the corner. It could be instead of your oh. real name, it could be, uh, well, the, the one uniquely crafted Leo or yeah, whatever you're going to use that day. You know what I'm talking about? I think you got to switch right. the address. I know that's what I did. I got like two separate ones. Yeah. Hold on. What's going on? Yeah, I'm trying to get on. Your, your nephew is about to get the business. <laughs> Let me tell you what he be doing. He do this shit every time, and I'm sorry, I'm about to go on a rant. Don't swing on Gavin. We not having he no do this shit every in this time. Dancery. Any any time I'm on a Zoom call where he knows that I can't like get in his get in his butt, right. he wants to go randomly run outside because he know I can't say nothing. So he just went hey. outside. And my homegirl is here, and I was like, go get him. Like, he does that crap every time. Didn't I tell? <laughs> See, these kids, I see why the dad on domestic violence rate that went up. Hey, man. That's what it is. Get ahead, little boy. You tried it. Go, go in your room. <laughs> you tried it. I told you about this. <laughs> hey, this, is, this is real life right here, ladies and gentlemen. You know what I'm talking about? I you didn't ask me about riding your bike, Slim. You better go in there and play with them Beyblades, son. <laughs> go in your room, Slim. Oh, he tried hey, yeah. it. We just had a conversation about that. He tried it. Hey, he ain't listening. You know what I'm talking about. You got it. Okay, gotta he, if he can't, if he can't hear, then he can feel like my grandma used to say. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I hey, said what I said. Call CPS what, if y'all want to. That's what people's pets be doing too. They be they be real quiet until it's time to get on that Webex. And them are no. <laughs> <laughs> you be like, wait, motherfucker, you was you wasn't even saying nothing to me before this joint stopped. I remember my cat used to do that. Pimp be up here nah. sleep. He ain't say nothing to me in 24 hours. As soon as I call in to a meeting, this motherfucker. He, he wanna talk. Man, 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 man. You be like, yo, first of all, <laughs> ain't nobody like ain't nobody talking to you. Like, how no. you know? They be swearing the door, the dogs, they have my dog here. The dog, the door hey. ring, the dog run down the steps. Like, my ain't nobody coming for you. You, you talk about down. these, you talk about these web calls. Another little tip for everybody. Make sure y'all, wherever y'all decide to do y'all Zoom meetings and people can see and you on mm -hmm. video chat, make sure it's a clean space. Okay. Because people, people been looking at other folks' houses and folks' houses is dirty. Okay. Oh, yeah. You got drawers over in the corner, food over. That's don't iron do that. Board, Make sure you're in a clean up. space. Put your ironing board yeah. down. My yeah, dude, come on now. couldn't put her, her ironing board down the other day. Okay, why? She, she couldn't move it? She couldn't move it out the way? No, it was just funny because she got all this. She had all this stuff in the background. She's like, oh, I need to move my ironing board. All this stuff. I mean, people got all kinds of shit in the background. I had a meeting with one of my VPs. Uh -huh. she, was, she was moving or something, man. She It was a whole lot of shit going on. She had uh, her little, her kid was in the back on the counter making slime <laughs> like in the sink yeah. like just living their best life i'm like are you, what's going on about oh, yeah. that like That's, just slime yeah kids like making this? slime and kids like making know, slime yeah, man i mean like, like everybody wilding man uh, you know people in here they got cabin fever you mm. got hot flashes from the rona rita it's just a lot going on <laughs> not man. the rona rita <laughs> <laughs> that's what you got but yeah, man. Um, so yeah, so oh, oh, you know what we forgot to talk about, Corbin? Wait, we forgot to talk about all the shows that you can watch right now. You know, what's everything is on. What's your regular? Um, I mean, I don't, I don't watch the Tiger King. If y'all ain't have seen you that. watched that? Yeah, yeah I, watched I watched Tiger that. King. I thought that was good. I thought I that got was good. Reviews um, on it. On have you watched? Uh, go, go, go check you watched, out those, those reviews. Go ahead. Have you watched right. Uncorked? It's Uncorked. Oops. It's about this Uncorked. Nah. There's a there's a guy that uh, he ends up becoming like a wine connoisseur. It's a very nice story. He oh, that's the black the job. black the black wine people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I heard about that joint. Yeah, it was I really good. I put um, that on my list. What else did I watch? Uh, the occupant that was really good. The occupant. The occupant is uh like a spinoff of that movie with Samuel L. Jackson, The Tenant. Is that the name of it? Where like the new tenants moved in and he was yeah, the occupant is like that. I ain't it's never wild. heard of the tenant or the occupant. <laughs> <laughs> and since we on there, yeah, if y'all wanna buy a house or something in the DMV, <laughs> I 
I am a real estate agent. So y'all can be the tenant and the occupant, the owner, <laughs> the god, oh, the contractor. Man. We can make a whole bunch oh, of shit out of here. Y'all, y'all hit me oh. up. <laughs> Oh man, I can't. I cannot. Nah, I um, so hold on. So we got. So we got Tiger good. King. We got the occupant. Yep. We, we got uncorked. We got uh, the Another occupant. Wine. Um, Love is Blind is a very good show to watch. If you got a little boo or whatever, oh, y'all should definitely watch that. That is an amazing show. Hey, hey, I would. I watched it. Shout out I, to Lauren and Cameron. Shout out to Lauren and Cameron. Hold on, Lauren and Cam- Oh, which one is that? That's the, That's black, the black girl in the, the, the white, yeah. The tall white dude. Mm-hmm. I like them. Yeah, they together. were the only ones that was that was normal, or like they were the only uh, ones that got through. And uh, I thought Lauren started wilding at the end, or before you know when they, before they about to get married, before they went to the altar, she started wilding because she's she kicked the shit off, right? She she said, "I love you first, like off the top. Yeah, 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 she did, she did, she did. But but no, that was a good show. We should we could do a little recap of that too. Um, but, yeah, love is blind. Yeah, love is. Love it. It was so weird. It was a weird ass show. Like the concept is cool, but them people, man, them people was wild. That damn that Jessica. one chick. Yeah, Jessica. Jessica was crazy as shit. That's exactly who I was about Jessica to talk about. Problems. Did you see the reunion where uh, Amber went off on her? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I watched, I she watched read all her. Of I like that. I was like, good job, Amber. I like Amber. Amber reminds me a lot of myself. She's very, yeah, you know, she got she got a lot of feisty. Look, yes, feisty. Like it. <laughs> but yeah, there was a lot of there was a lot of stuff to take away from that show. It was a, yeah, it was I thought lot, it was really good. It was a lot going on. Uh, it it was long. Like it seemed like the hour that it took for that show, like the hour mm-hmm. lo- length, mm-hmm. that shit took like three hours every time. I was like, is this shit still on? God damn, <laughs> that was still on. Um, yeah. have you watched the Ozark? I watch Ozark. I'm on. I only okay. watched episode yeah. one so far for this season. But see, when Netflix drop all that shit at the same time, it It'd be so much pressure to watch them all back to back. And I just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. You know I get saying? it. But I watch Ozark. I like Ozark. I'm only, I only watch episode one, but it's season three now. So I'm about uh, to catch up on that this weekend. What's the name? There's a new movie that came out with Mark Wahlberg. That was really good. I can't think of the name of it. It was like an action movie. It was on um, Netflix. That was a really good movie. And it had the guy from uh, Us and uh, Black Panther in it. Oh. The Black, uh, uh, he's a giant. That He's like 6'5". I did not know he was that tall. He's like Oh, you talking about in Bo- Baku or whatever? The one that played in Boku, in Buku, in Baku, in Black Panther? The I big guess. dude, not the, yeah, not, yeah, yeah, not the yeah. main character. And the not main the character in Us. He played the main character. He played the husband in Us. Us, you're right, 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 yeah. right, 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 right. Okay, right, right. okay, yeah, him. He's in that. He's in the movie with Mark Wahlberg or whatever. I can't oh, think yeah, of the name know. of the the movie, yeah. but that was good too. But I mean, y'all ain't got nothing but time. You know, make sure y'all scroll, find find something to look good. You know, whatever it is y'all like, action, horror. You know, six hundred so pound so. life. Whatever you want to watch. Yeah, ain't whatever. Go just go watch everything. You got Apple yeah. TV. I got all that shit now. I got Apple TV plus Hulu. Disney Hulu, plus. Disney. I don't got Hulu. <laughs> I got Netflix. I got Netflix. I got all kinds of shit, but you know, it is it, it's not a shortage of shows. No, to watch it's not. In these it's not at all. Verizon, kept... um, Verizon also gave y'all some extra channels too, if y'all got Verizon as a provider. Just thought yeah. I'd let y'all know that too. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's good to know. Go make make sure y'all check y'all check y'all email to see what Verizon letting y'all get for free. Yeah, I'm sure it's not Pornhub or anything like that. But oh, I heard oh porn. Pornhub they do Pornhub. They had Pornhub yeah, had a, had a sale. Or was yeah, free with or the, like the premium or something. Yep, the premium packet. Yep. But I don't even what you get with Pornhub people. premium. I don't even know. All right, y'all so go, the difference. Oh, you know. Okay. So the difference. Put it <laughs> <laughs> Ru, Ru, Ru know what the uh, Pornhub is. Let's see. So what <laughs> what they what they do with the porn hub, shout <laughs> So I heard because I don't know because I haven't signed up, but I have friends who have signed up. Okay. I've heard that versus the porn hub, what is it? Porn hub what is it called? Porn hub what is it called? Porn hub premium. Yeah, porn hub premium versus the regular porn hub, I think it's just a little nastiest. So, you know, if y'all trying to be nasty, Mr. or Mrs. Jackson out there, then 
oh, it, you know, it, pull up it's, and it's more extreme porn or something. Like I think so, and I, I heard that the story plots are a lot better. So oh, they got better acting on premium. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they got Oscar winning porn out here if you subscribe to the premium. So yeah, so y'all need to check that out too if that's if that's y'all stealer. Like I said, I I don't know personally. I'm just going okay. by what I heard. Yeah. Um, so you know, check that us, out. None of us believe that you don't actually know the answer. Uh, okay, right that's you be that's right on there. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I don't like you. At all right, all. We leave it for real this time though. So we go are. ahead. What else, what else you got? You know, you know how you do. What else? You know, you gotta say something. To be the end. Uh, that's it. I mean, just shout out to everybody. You know, I love everybody. I honestly have missed everyone. Mm -hmm. um, I'm glad that Cornbread and I were able to, you know, holler at you guys during this difficult time. Um, honestly, I just want everybody to stay well, stay healthy, stay safe, and most importantly, stay encouraged. You know what I'm saying? And uh, that's it. Hopefully, Cornbread and I will be coming back to y'all real soon, and we can kind of get back to uh, our normal podcast, and that's pretty much it. That's, Amen. that's it. Hallelujah. That's it. Praise God. <laughs> All right, we out of here, y'all. Thanks, y'all, for listening. And uh, go follow Rue on One Uniquely Crafted Leo. Leo. On Instagram. Uh, you can follow Cousin Cornbread. I'm at Cousin Cornbread on all social platforms. Uh, and you can go on CousinCornbread.com. Check out whatever y'all want to check out, man. Get T-shirts, sweatshirts. Uh, watch the YouTube. Do all that. Do all that, all that, all that, all that. But uh, yeah, we out of here, man. Thank y'all for listening. Log out.